Bill O'Reilly talks about traditional Americans who believe the U.S. is noble. They're fighting against secular progressives, say O'Reilly, who believe the country is fundamentally flawed. It sounds uh, like they're fighting against our founding fathers. Yeah. That's exa that's a great point, Jill. That's exactly right. I mean, having read this, I don't know why I didn't come to that conclusion, but uh, maybe it's because you're brighter than I am. But clearly, I mean, they're waging a war against the founding fathers. The founding fathers were incredibly clear on this topic. You shall not establish a religion. What part of that, by the way, that would be, if you were with the founding fathers, that's kind of, they were in the past. They were part of our tradition. Yeah. So it's kind of weird to be a traditional warrior and be against the founding fathers. Oh, they always talk about, hey, they were setting up a Judeo-Christian country and they believe that religion should have a role. In See, government. if they wanted to uh, set up a Judeo-Christian country, they, they knew how to write. They, yeah, they could have written that into the Constitution fairly easily. In fact, they debated it at length and decided not to. Yeah, but they weren't around in the beginning then when the government started working to lay their imprint on it. Actually, you know what? They were the original first four presidents. I don't know if you're oh. the people who wrote the Constitution. I don't no. know if you're the yeah, I didn't know that. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah. So let me give you a quote here from O'Reilly. Um, uh, it's the traditionalists who really want to keep the country pretty much the way it is. Against the, I would say, pretty much the way it was. <laughs> but keep the country pretty much the way it is, says O'Reilly, against the secular progressives who want drastic change. And they control the media. Oh, we control the media? Yeah, we control the media. We're, I mean, you have any idea how hard we fought to get here? Yeah. <laughs> and Bill O'Reilly, who's broadcast to every news outlet in the country uh, and has, you know, is, has the biggest talk show on cable news, he doesn't control the media? We do? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's news to me, but I love it. Yeah. I hope so. I hope that's right. And they control it. The, but I love it that, it's, that, that he believes the U.S. It's traditional Americans. The culture war breaks down as traditional Americans who believe the U.S. is noble against secular progressives who believe the country is fundamentally flawed. And really, to guys like Bill O'Reilly, that's it. That's all there is. Like, like, either you believe the country is noble or fundamentally flawed. How about this? I think it's the greatest country in the world, and I think we should never stop trying to fix our problems. Is that too you, fucking complicated for you, you Bill O'Reilly? You are. You know what you are? You're a secular progressive. That's right. You don't even believe that a religion should rule us all like Osama bin Laden does and Al-Qaeda does. Right. Like and Bill O'Reilly like, does. Like the, the uh, Ayatollahs in Iran. Or yeah. The, or the Russians in Afghanistan. Wheel of Fortune. Sally Ride. <laughs> hey, listen. We didn't start. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. So there he calls himself the tea warrior. Uh, uh, O'Reilly goes on. He says, without the media, uh, O'Reilly uh, says the war, uh, the, that uh, there would be no ongoing debates about gay marriage or or support mentioning God and the Pledge of Allegiance. Like, if it weren't for the media, every, we'd have God and the Pledge of Allegiance. We do. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and nobody talk about gay marriage. Uh, the media, he says, is really balancing, is the balancing agent between the 20% of Americans who are secular progressives, he's done some polling, and the 60% who are traditionalists, and then he says to Barbara Walters, I got to expose it. I got to expose it. I got to do it. It's my mission. I got to do it. Yeah, it, but, Poor us, if it weren't for Bill O'Reilly, that's 60% of the traditionalists, you know, they wouldn't be represented at all. What poll led him to believe that he's got 60% of the country behind him and the people opposed to him only have 20%? Last poll I the saw... The he makes up in his head. Yeah. Everything that he spouts out is factual never and never actually comes to be. Well, first of all, nobody took a poll on traditionalists versus secular no, progressives. No, Bill O'Reilly did. <laughs> okay. yeah. and he took a poll within the many personalities in his own head. And second of all, uh, the last poll I saw actually came out today, CBS New York Times, or I should say yesterday, uh, and has Bush's approval rating at 37%. Now, have a lot of the traditionalists that are 60% of the country abandoned him, or perhaps does the poll that Bill O'Reilly made up in his head make no sense whatsoever? Yeah, nothing makes any sense. Uh, you're 100% you're right, of course, Jenkins. And again, Without the media, there would be no ongoing debate about gay marriage because most Americans are opposed to it. I just, you know, I think the only thing you can say to Bill O'Reilly is in, in, in 1954, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I guess there would be, without the media, there would have been no debate about the civil rights movement. There would have been no debate about interracial marriage because the I guarantee you overwhelming majority of Americans were against it. Mm -hmm. And if, if, the, if, if the majority is, is against it, then it's out forever. Uh, be, before we hit the break, i got to tell you, look, this is really important. What traditionalist is a code word for the way things were back in the 1950s is what they cite the most. And the way things were in the 1950s is the white people ruled. And if you were, you know, those were good times. You know, if you were black, you had to go to a separate fountain and all that stuff. And and was and, that so hard? Look, and if you're Mexican, you're women, you had issues. The way things were, the great America that Bill O'Reilly remembers, when white men ruled 
everything, and they can actually, with the force of law, keep the others down. Traditional America, the one that 60% of Americans are in favor of. And look, of course, there were some good parts of that. There were some great parts when we look back. There's a, there, there is an America that you want to defend that used to exist, but we got to grow with it. And there were some parts of that America which blew. Mm -hmm. Young Turks, Air America Radio.